Hey, Christian Lübermann here. I'm here in Lisbon. Just wanted to make a video about when is the right time to quit your job and go freelance. Um, I did it myself after two years. And I did it um, basically when I figured out I was not going any further with my uh, career as an employee in this bank I was working for. Um, so I got this philosophy that you should have a job to learn and then you don't learn any, any new things from the job or this is going very slow then you should take what you have learned from that job and either do freelancing or turn it into some kind of business and then you use it to earn basically so that's what i did i had this job at the some big bank in denmark i was creating, creating this banking apps for and i at that time i was probably making around 80 i probably like uh around 100k a year uh, for my first job it's not bad uh hundred thousand dollars in, uh, in denmark um but yeah after like one i think one and a half year i started looking into uh into freelancing and uh and found this recruiter that helped me to uh land my first freelance contract so uh to me that was probably just going from an employee to, going to become a freelancer that was like the biggest step in my career and um, I think I started earning like, twice as much um, after becoming a freelancer and then I had the company set up where I could like accumulate money in my company which I could use later you know if you want to hire employers or uh, employees sorry or if you want to you know invest in other kind of business uh, ventures and uh, that's a great way to start uh, to freelancing so yeah basically you you just write your your job until you're not learning any anymore and then i would say it's time to go freelance and then the next step might be to do teaching because at some point you're gonna max out your freelance rate. When I I went from I think my first freelance contract was around seven how much eleven dollars uh, like eighty eighty dollars an hour, which is kind of low for freelance, but it was still you know still nice. I could just you know put in the hours and then I got paid that, uh, which is which is fine for me. And then it got a little more on the next contract, and then it did a big jump to like, I was like $120, I think. And then around, you know, I think like $200 uh, dollars, uh, later, which is like, for many countries should be like the max uh, as an Angular developer, and they probably require you to be like the lead developer of, of a team um, through that. And maybe it also, would be hard to do remotely so it would require you to uh, to actually go to an office every day uh, which you might not want um, but yeah right now I'm, I'm just I'm remote working right now so I took as actually this freelance contract I was where well, I was in the office and then I you know I later turned it into a remote uh, contract so uh, yeah I was pretty happy about that but the next step would probably be to uh, just focus more on the teasing side of my business and make my own apps and SaaS companies uh, because I'm pretty maxed out right now, I feel, on the consulting side. So next priority is just going to be, you know, pass it on to my other students and build some apps for us. So see you. Bye.